Jimmy, I gotta take a dump. What? No. I mean, I need a dumpster. <sighs> well, for all those needs, you need to call Big V Dumpster Rental. Long Island, New York, 631-900-DUMP. Hmm. Elm Logistics. For all your logistic needs, call 631-299-3595. That's 631-299-3595. Elm Global Logistics. Pride, performance, and partnerships. I'd like you to close us out with uh, maybe some final words about Dan and maybe uh, what would you like to say to him if he was still with us and you had an opportunity to give him some final last words. You know, I guess I could say this for Scott Hall, for JJ, and for Dan Marotti. Ernest Hemingway, Ernest Hemingway wrote a book. And the book was called For Whom the Bell Tolls. And today, the bell tolls for Scott Hall, for JJ, and for Dan Marotti. Listen quietly, hear the ring, and share the memories. If Dan was still here, I think we'd still be laughing and fooling. I still think my words would be the same to him. Dan, cool down, slow down. Don't take things personal. This is not about you, my friend. Relax, relax, please. And I had him laughing and we'd go back and forth. And I think that's what I would keep saying to him. You don't realize how hot it is. Dan, slow down. A lot of us here to help. Let us, let us help. So one thing he never knew how to do was delegate. He could never delegate. And that would be one thing I would tell him. And again, don't let things get to you. Don't take it personal. Walk away. Take the high road. Andy Wong would always say, take the high road. Take the high road. Walk away. You know, we all know about the incident he had with our favorite guy, and he's a great friend. Walk away. Walk away in peace, and it ends in peace. No need to start a war. No need. And those are the things I would tell him. And, you know, slowly he was understanding slowly and i guess that's the way i'd leave him you know on the back of his um prayer card i'm just going to read you what they put on here if i may those who we love must someday pass beyond our present sight must leave us and the world we know without their radiant light we know that like a candle their loving light will shine to brighter up another place more perfect more divine and in the realm of heaven where they shine so warm and bright our lord and life evermore in god's eternal light and i believe that's where they all are i'm sure that marati's up there trying to tell peter how to run the friggin gates and if he gives him any trouble he's going to put it on tv and talk about what a slob he was and how he forgot to get the golden key scott hall as you said earlier pharaoh is going to walk up to the gate and say hey peter it's a wonderful place up here but i want them gold toothpicks <laughs> and jj i'm sure is writing a song about how great heaven is so for all of us we should sit back and say as bob hope says and includes Dan Marotti, Scott Hall, JJ, all the other ones that went before us. Thanks for the memories. Mr. Cena, you're a class act, and we want to thank everybody for joining us. I'm glad we could call you a friend and prayers to the three gentlemen you just mentioned. Mr. Cena, send us out, please. That's on you, John. Send us home. <laughs> I don't know how to send you home except say thank you. I love you guys tremendously. You truly are my friends, and I do. Do wait for the day you call and say, here in Saugus, let's go to the Kowloon. And to all the fans of Monty and the Pharaoh, and those fans of Boston Wrestling and NWF, thank you for the memories. It's only the beginning. Only the beginning. And Monty and the Pharaoh, again, thank you so much for allowing me to come on and talk about my dear friend.
Say